On this episode of Tiger TV, we'll hear from Coach Kendall about the cheerleaders. We'll learn about soccer and how important it is for students at PLMS. Throw down with our first episode of Food Fight. Be entertained by the Untalent Show. Learn about the broadcasting program. And finally, PL60, the 60-second look at PLMS. It's, it's time, time for, for Tiger, Tiger TV. TV. I am Leslie Kindle. I am the girls cheer coach, head cheer coach here at Pleasantly Middle School. I've been cheering, uh, doing cheer coach for, this is my third season to do it. And um, I took over partial season three years ago and I loved it so much I just took it over for good. Well, I, I cheered when I was in high school, but I am from Texas, and I don't know if you're familiar with Texas, but Texas has co-ed squads. So I cheered my senior year in high school, and there were 12 of us, and there were six girls and six guys, so we learned to stunt very early on, and then I cheered three years in college. Um, I was also a gymnast, so I have a passion for it because people don't consider cheer a sport, but I look at it very much as a sport, and I love to see the girls when they come in and they've never stunted or done anything to see how far they go to the end of the year and just see the excitement on their faces when they learned how to do stunts and cheers and it's just very rewarding. This is Aurora Hedrick and Christina Henry for Tiger TV. Soccer, a simple but loved sport by many, so why wouldn't we have it at middle schools in Missouri? Uh, soccer is important to me because it's a way to like um, get together with your friends and like have a fun time and like just like play a fun game that like everyone enjoys to play. I love soccer because I know like my position on the field, I know what I'm supposed to be playing. It's like my home away from home and it cures like all my stress and like my anxiety. Like my teammates are just like my family and it's just really important to me. It makes me happy. It's one of the few things I like know how to do well and I know like what I'm doing. Um, so I've played soccer for probably like eight years and I love it. It's my favorite sport to play and um, I think that uh, it's a really great thing for anybody to do and you can play no matter how good or bad you are. I've played it, I play at a pretty competitive level now, and um, it's really fun for anybody, no matter how good or bad you are. This has been Austin Scarf and Brett Springer for Tiger TV. So, what's your favorite sandwich? A hot dog. I said sandwich. I said hot dog. Well, how can it be your favorite sandwich if it's a taco? It's not a taco. It is. A sandwich, it has two breads and then stuff inside of it. That's a sandwich. Yeah, okay, well tacos have corn shells and tortillas around them. Not and all a the sandwich time. is bread, like, like, just like a hot dog. And if a hot dog was a taco, don't you think Taco Bell would be selling it? No, what about Subway? Subway is a sandwich store. You know what? Food, Food fight! Is a hot dog a sandwich or a taco? I think it's a taco. A sandwich. It's a sandwich. I'd say it can be either. If the pieces of bread are connected, then it's a taco. But if they're, if, if they're like broken apart, then it's a sandwich. I would say sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich? Taco? More like a taco. It's a sandwich.
One of our interesting and fun classes we offer here at PLMS is broadcasting. Our package is about PLMS history and we chose it because it's just perfect timing. There's new construction, it's around like the 50th year, and yeah. So broadcasting is a course that allows students to look at video technology and how they can produce stories and uh, start to look into the different ways you can use video cameras and video editing uh, to tell stories and, you know, share things that are going on here at PLMS, but, in, you know, in a, a modern visual video way. Broadcasting, students start out by learning to uh, film using uh, good composition and, uh, you know, make very pretty shots. And from that, uh, students will learn how to edit those shots together. But at the core, we want students to learn to communicate with each other. We want students to learn to tell stories visually because this is a visual storytelling class. While students are creating their packages, they will need to conduct interviews. Here we have an interview for a package about soccer. These interviews are recorded using our cameras and other equipment supplied by the school district. Uh, so we've got uh, two different models of camera that we use. We've got our student cameras, then we've got our studio cameras, which are a little bit nicer. Uh, we do all of our edit editing on our, uh, in our Mac lab, where we have all of our Mac computers that have Final Cut Pro as our editing program. Uh, we've got all new studio lighting this year. Um, stop by the studio at some point. It looks really cool. Um, we're just trying to modernize the equipment that we have to keep up with, uh, you know, YouTube streamers and all these modern visual storytelling approaches uh, that are relevant to students today. This has been Dustin Nguyen and Jose Ruiz Gonzalez with Tiger TV. an older half-brother who could do this and I was fascinated so we looked on the I think it was like the official Rubik's website picked up a cube they had a, a pretty comprehensive tutorial on how to do it so I learned I noted things down I did a lot of stuff and I think when I was in like the end of fifth grade I finally managed to solve it the fourth grade I stuck a crayon in my hair and I left it in there for like a week without noticing and I do it again and, and, and then I put it in my hair and then I go like do you want a pencil and like bring it out of my hair uh, well my dad always used to show off his juggling skills and I thought it was pretty cool so in the fifth grade, I believe, or fourth grade, he taught me. been Anna Burnett and Claire Weeks reporting Odd Talents for Tiger TV.